Inspector Chicken. <laughs> Inspector Chicken. <laughs> it's been stuck in my head for about uh, about 24 hours now. <sighs> I am deeply mentally unwell. <laughs> Greetings once again, loyal subjects of the Emperor, and welcome to this here Imperial Elite Camp. Where the Emperor is training up only the finest of troops. Doesn't look very elite. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit, it doesn't like a shed in a field. The Emperor has asked me to pass on his gratitude for the many kind words in response to yesterday's transmission. It seems as if the Emperor's work has many fans, which is a little bit concerning, given that all we did yesterday was shovel cat girls into a mass grave. Perhaps that says more than I thought. However, the Emperor did take note, and to clarify, I'm not the Emperor, I'm just passing on his words, so, you know, take it up with him. The Emperor did note that there were many naysayers amongst the comments. Many naysayers accusing the Emperor of being incompetent and not knowing what he's doing, selecting the wrong side powers for his bestower and so forth. And you would be absolutely correct, the Emperor has no idea what he's doing. The Emperor is effectively playing vanilla while the rest of the world is playing modded Rim Rim. It's a very strange scenario. And speaking of scenario, the Emperor promised to put the, all the rules in the description, then forgot. Um, again, that's not on me. You can't take that up with me. So I'll make sure those additional rules are there. For those of you playing along, for those of you who also wish to experience this as it is intended to be experienced with those restrictions and those strict Imperial rules and regulations. However, it is not about the Imperial rules and regulations written down in the description. No, no, no. It is about the Imperial rules and regulations in your heart. And as long as you are gunning down cat girls in the name of the Emperor, then the Emperor smiles on you. What the Emperor does not smile upon is <laughs> how difficult these raids are going to get in a hurry. Now, bear in mind, we do not know what random modifier these waves are going to have. And up next, we have the legendary mythical Bucko Drinks Bucko Pirates with two poorly thought out grenadiers and one smoke grenadier. And though I do love to uh, not have a base made of wood, I do think some defenses probably wouldn't hurt here. Maybe a great big outer perimeter wall. Now, there was some very good correspondent for the Emperor yesterday. One of the Emperor's loyal subjects suggested a, uh, a regime for allowing our guardsmen, al allowing our soldiers to patrol the borders of the base, which means instead of having very well-trained chickens... <laughs> <laughs> because nothing says elite military force like two chickens on a perch. We can instead set our many troops to patrol because living in a barracks and cooking simple meals, there may be less work than there is to usually do. With the exception of all of the very specific and particular Imperial gear we might have craft, there's not going to be a huge amount to do. So the Emperor has a plan, which probably means it's not going to work. The first part of the plan is to crack open a cobble with the boys. Hello? They're almost all dead. That's fantastic. Well, we're not recruiting you for a start. And then there's Eric. It's all down to Eric. Eric, are you any good? You're you're on the verge of dying. Construction ten double passion. Honestly, thirteen plants. Double passion is fine. And four shooting. You could be a very low level cannon fodder soldier. That's okay. Very intimidating. Ooh, what does that do? Uh, nothing useful at all. Fa fairly okay at social. Could make for a good bestower and waiting in that case, given that that's the whole point of. This character, poor medic, trustworthy. Yeah, I could, I could, I could deal with that. So first things first, then, uh, for the emperor and all that. No choco mint ice cream girls here. We've turned her into a delicious meal. Mm -mm -mm. You may eat that to your heart's content, little Maxima. The emperor is very generous. Capture Eric. Okay, uh, like I was saying, <laughs> I have played this before. Ooh, hey, look at that. Imperial laborer is his backstory. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Fine. Let's get him recruited then as soon as possible. That couldn't be any more perfect. Get you converted over from whatever the hell this is. Ancient Archotechnics. No, thank you. And we have a replacement leg there. That is one of the few permitted bionics under the Emperor's system. We can't use any of those fancy, fancy non-galactic standard bionics. Where did Eric go? Where did... Where did, where did Eric go? Eric? <laughs> Oh, hang on. Fog of war, you fool. Ah. Well, I mean, there's only one thing for it. Do-do-do-do-do, Inspector Chicken. It's never going to get old, is it? We should build those everywhere. The Emperor's elite squad of Inspector Chickens. Reared in pairs so they gain an attachment to one another. Should one chicken fall in battle, the other chicken fights with more ferocity than any thrombo, any warg. We might have to plant more rice for the Emperor's chickens, and that's something I... <laughs> never expected to say. The next part of the Emperor's two-part plan that was supposed to happen, um, 
on the second day. So we're really, we're really absolutely nailing the schedule here. I was to build a very simple perimeter wall around the entire base. Uh, that's where the chickens will be very, very handy. We may have to call in more Imperial laborers to help get the job done properly. Um, I guess we'll run a wall down here. That seems okay. You know what? I will run it to this rock. Why not? Let's use some of the natural resources. We haven't built the inspector chickens over there yet, so it's not as if we have to move those over. Excellent. A bit more careful planning on behalf of the emperor, I think. Now we can have nicely regimented inspector chickens in, in equal intervals around the outside of the base. Well, I would say we absolutely nailed that wall construction. Well done, team. And here are bucko pirates with time to spare. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> we tried. That's the important thing. Uh, hello? Where are they? Oh, what is that? That was an explosion. That was something, right? I'm not going mad. Oh, there they are. Hello. The elite forces of Pirate Lord Bucko Drink. You may remember Pirate Lord Bucko Drink being accepting of all people. Anybody willing to fight for him. He has some poorly thought out grenadiers. That's right. Grenadiers literally made of ice cream. And then this guy. Wow, really? Do we need that? He's got a smoke launcher. And what have you got there? Mini grenades and... Toxic grenades. That's good. We're already on chemical warfare. <laughs> and to think that the mighty pirate lord Bucko Drink would fall as low as... Ah. Oh. I mean, of course she's going to be immune to... Of course she's going to be immune to blinding pulse. She's made of slime. <laughs> I'm not even sure she has eyes. Close the gap. Oh! Um. I'm not entirely sure why she exploded there. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, is that... Is that stinky... Stinky toxins. I'm not entirely sure why she violently ex exploded. They both did. <gasps> That'll be the random modifier. Bucko, that coward. Uh, I mean, I have to execute her. It's the Emperor's will. For the Emperor? No! Well, I mean, we're fine. Flavius can call them all laborers. Excellent. Great timing. Oh, hey, smoke pot belts. It's that thing I don't think I've ever used once. Well, perfect. Let's equip that on maximum then, so that as she's making a slow charge, it might keep her defended a little bit. Genuinely never used those before. Great, great, great time. Great time to be exploring all of these vanilla features. Ah, oh, all of our meals are rotting. Of course! The Emperor may have graced us with many technologies, such as fabrication, cataphract armor. Uh, the Emperor, <laughs> that silly old Emperor may have forgotten to give them temperature. May have forgotten to give them actual coolers. What a silly Emperor you are. You idiot. Now, of course, we're going to need a lot of rice. Uh, yeah, rice, though. Oh, you fool. Well, I'll leave it now, I suppose. We're we going to need a lot of rice, or in this case, potatoes, to feed the many chickens of the Emperor. And you may be thinking, why not equip that there steel hatchet? Well, of course, the Emperor does not approve of two weapons at once. That is no feature that the Emperor has heard of. That is madness. Ooh. Well, the Emperor might approve of opening that crate. What is in there? Ooh. Dryad body hosting a royal... Or, I mean, really, they should be hosting... They should be hosting slush. Tatius Bula. As in uh, Tatius Precious, I assume. An acolyte of the Empire of Eternity is playing a troubling political situation. There is a slight problem with that. To accept this quest, we need three bedrooms that satisfy the title requirements of Knight Flavius, Duke Slush, Dame Maxima, and Acolyte Tatius. We're not going to take in a lower-level acolyte who wants a nicer bedroom than what we've already got. What we could do with is a comms console so that we can get ourselves some more... Permanent recruits. Although for the time being, I will call in the labor squad so they can help build these walls a little faster because if we leave it to these three, it's never going to be built, quite honestly. And we have a lot of chickens to build as well. What I might do, and I wanted to keep one of these on cooldown at all times in case our walls fell down very fast and we had to rebuild them. Um, I might call in both labor squads. Come and serve your duke. Because not only are we building a giant wall, but it just so happens that our first crops have come in here as well. So we need all the help we can get. Look at all of these... Imperial subjects. Wow. I'll be honest with you, I think I could get used to this Empire stuff. Emperor's got the right idea with all of these underlings doing work for you. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> Just noticed the next raid coming in. Uh, that is generic player faction with its one Dragonian slave, two decorative waifu, and one peaceful mode character. <laughs> well, here they come. Are we allowed to use these guys for combat? I presume that we are, but there might be a penalty if they die. Um, can we select another permit and double check? We are not allowed. Well, you know what? We're probably not going to need them anyway. I, I mean, it's two decorative waifus, a dragonian slave, and a peaceful mode character. And though we do not have the Emperor's battle chickens, we do have a wall. A very fine wall. Uh, hello? Oh, why do you not have your staff equipped anymore? It was against the rules. I had him equip that so we could blow up that dryad body, which is obviously very sinful. Um, you know what? 
This is breaking the rules, but I think the Emperor will forgive us for the time being. Where are our soldiers? Oh, for God's sake. This is the worst army I've ever seen. Oh. Well, you tried. Oh, shit. No, that's our wall. You've just, you've just... You've just shot our wall. Bring them down, Flavius. Bring them down. Maxima, let's go for the flank here. Oh, they're just going to run straight past because they're very fast. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I've heard the legends of the drunk wizard Shigeru. What am I looking at? <laughs> oh my god, she decapitated him. <laughs> oh, for the emperor, that was phenomenal. The emperor would be pleased. Well, we are getting peppered over here. Flavius, what's going on, brother? You, you don't seem to be doing too well there. So <laughs> much for the emperor's elite squad. Uh, uh, twice in a row now, this man's been absolutely peppered. 34% health left. How's Slush doing? Slush can lie on the floor for a second. He'll be fine. You're getting a skill boost. Does that also apply to all of the temporary people like laborers? Maybe. I'll be honest, I didn't bother looking at any of them because they're going to leave in a couple of days anyway, huh? That is fantastic for our people. Doesn't seem like it was a significant boost, but it's quite nice. Maxima had, Maxima had 10 medical. She's gone up to 12 now. So that was plus two to all of their skills. Massive. The Emperor is generous. I don't understand how a uh, dragon slave was able to punch Flavius through his cataphract armor to the extent that it knocked off a good 60% of his health. What's going on with that? You've got a stone skin gland, my man. I mean, crushed from that. A lot of it were the pistols, to be fair. But his arm was almost knocked off by a dragonian tail. Slush, the Emperor has given you special permission to continue with your righteous inquisition. After which, you must equip your your items again. You must equip standard Imperial for stow aware. What's this gonna take? Perfect. Much better. He has broken down because of mind shattering pain. Oh, don't dig up the mass graves. Oh, slush, you moron. Oh, that skeleton's got a flower in its hair. <laughs> oh, Claudian is gonna think he has done some great offense to the Emperor. The bestower just threw a corpse at him. <laughs> now, here's the question. These people are our ideal religion, right? No, I mean, they should be because we're both the Shattered Empire. They absolutely are. Now, this wouldn't normally be the case. But in this situation, could we have a ritual and invite them all to it? Oh, my Inspector Chicken Feed. Oh, this one we might be able to help out with, though. Hello. You're going to offer us three honor, which I'm not really too bothered about. But the 36 Hyperweave could be pretty nice. Stellic Defenders and Wardens are supposed to wear Hyperweave clothes. So you know what? I'll allow it. And we have to fight Bucko's Pirates. Fine. Oh, well, I certainly hope those two aren't related. <laughs> Greetings, fellow citizens of the Empire. Wow, look at that. What, the, what do you have there? Biocoded Mono Longbow. And Longina has, you would assume, a biocoded Helvia going by those rules. Look at how pleased with herself she looks. Look at how pleased she looks. You crashed that damn shuttle. What were you two doing in there that you both look so smug? Well, that's a terribly appropriate thing to say, Americano. <laughs> and there go the first group of our laborers. We almost got the wall finished. It's a lot of effort, okay? They collect the stone, cut the stone. What, what are you doing there? What the, what the hell are you doing? Pulling that sort of facial expression on the phone. What's going on? Oh, and that's for our other, other laborers. Oh God, okay, that's poor timing. Pirates from Bucko's Pirates have arrived. Well, we don't get to see where they came in. Oh, no. Hold on. No, it actually doesn't say. Okay, then. Uh, I guess we've got ourselves a mystery on our hands. Let's, uh, let's get on that shuttle. You guys can leave. Boy, I sure hope they don't burn our base down now it's undefended. Rescue shuttles arrived. We'll leave them to it, then. Go. Go on your damn shuttle and fly away. Go fly away. Oh, they're in our base. There's our hyperweave. Where, where are the pirates? It, where are the pirates, though? That's exactly why I should have built those goddamn inspector chickens with the laborers while they were here. Well, we've done a sweep of the map, but I can't see them anywhere. I guess they left? God, I hope they left. <laughs> oh, Eric! Beautiful, sweet Eric, welcome. We'll get him recruited, and then we'll have to decide on what rank Eric gets given within the Empire. I guess we'll just pick the lowest standard Imperial rank, right? Oh... Compress the number of raiders from 25 to 6 and increase the abilities of 6 of them. Now we're getting some player characters turning up. Okay, two different decorative waifu, two waifu villager, one peaceful mode character, one Nyaron slave. And all we have to defend ourselves are two very brave chickens buried under rubble right now. 
They died as they lived. And half a wall. I mean, most of a wall, but it's very, very slow going with the whole wall thing. Can we build turrets? Because, I mean, now would be a fantastic time. I mean, we can build turrets. We start with the research. Uh, why don't we throw down... Sl Slush, go and get your staff. You're embarrassing the Emperor. Now, Slush has to stick to very specific gear. He has to wear the Bestower gear and the Bestower staff because he is an Imperial Bestower. Nothing in the Imperial guidelines does it say that he can't man a cannon. Though I'll admit, a Scorpion seems far more on brand for the Empire. So I might do that instead. Uh, let's put a Scorpion amid the potatoes. They'll never see that coming. <laughs> a Scorpion amid the potatoes might be a new Imperial expression. Oh, little Maxima, hurry up. Oh my god. Well, here goes nothing, I suppose. And no, we didn't get the scorpion built. It, it turns out these things take quite a long time. But we do have the benefit of them appearing on the side of the Inspector Chicken. They are doomed. Oh my god. No, we might be the doomed ones. Hello. Look, everybody, it's favorite... Everyone's <laughs> favorite draconian bubka. <gasps> you killed the Emperor's chickens! You! This will not be forgotten. This will not be forgotten. We're going to have to call in help. Like, genuinely, I think we're going to have to call in help here. <laughs> a stunning start. Really just a staggering display. Call it an aerodrone strike. How fast do you think it'll react? Sure, let's try it. Goodbye, potatoes. Now. Yes. Well, that wasn't very good. Put an orbital bombardment on a cat and it didn't damn do anything. Bobka, stop that. The ADG's about to beat Slush with a beer bottle. It's the second time that's happened, which is it's very weird. We don't need we don't need help. We don't need the standard Imperial military to help us. We are an elite squad. Maxima, get in there and fight. Please don't shoot Maxima. Ah! Please be careful. No, oh, maybe stop firing. Or go in at least at a different angle. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. And now we are getting six more raiders. Three waifu villager, three decorative waifu. Brilliant. Your food and medicine, which is very appropriate because once again, Slush is on the floor. <laughs> Don't worry, Slush. We'll build you that scorpion one day. Um, you know, it's funny you should mention that. <laughs> once a Shattered Empire member is defeated twice in honorable combat with a hostile enemy, other citizens accept the ceremonial suicide to take place to cleanse the dishonor upon the colony. You're telling me you want me to... Uh, seppuku little little slush. I'm telling you right now, that's not happening. Are they going to be upset? Oh, he's minus 30. Oh, God. For, for a year? What about you? Are you bothered by that? They're not... They're not bothered by it. Slush is, like, deeply... Deeply upset because he's failed his emperor. I'm... I'm... I'm happy to forgive Slush. He doesn't have another suitable bestower. And he, he fought bravely. He is only a bestower, but he fought bravely. Ah, oh, sweet. Some resources to actually build some turrets with. Thank you, Empire. Gifts from the Emperor for a job well done. Just don't tell the Emperor about <laughs> Slush's massive dishonor. Well, like, the cooldown on that is way longer than I thought. 26 days since our arrival. We've only used it twice. Good God. And we're still woefully underprepared. On the plus side... On the plus side, they're coming in from this way. And we have the Scorpion now. And him, Slush. Fire! Yes! Oh, it's actually not bad. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, I'm still not confident, but it's something. Oh! Get ready to do with some sandbags. Uh, do me a favor. Pop smoke. And then... Close in. Close in and kill them all. Oh, yikes. Okay, no, no, this is looking a little... <laughs> a little touch and go. Uh, here, do me a favor. I think like an aerodrome strike there. Yikes, that's a bit dangerous. Oh, do it. Just do it. Yes. Oh, what the f What was that? I have had Slush meditating, so you know what? We're not quite... We're not, we're not quite out of this fight yet. Get her. Nice. And then... Hit that one. Nice. You slice that little dragon. Yo, this is... This is fine. This is genius. You start shooting that cat. Don't worry about the ones that are very injured. Let them kill one another. Or as we like to say in the Empire, we've really put a scorpion amid the potato field. <laughs> what, a, what a battle. What a showdown. I will never call in the regular Imperial military. It's never going to happen. That, it would be a cold day in hell when it does happen. Oh, God. Okay. Whoo. Dangerous. Random normal reward, which is food and medicine drop. Nice. Wasn't so bad. Nobody was defeated. Everything's looking fine. We're all, we're all fine here. 
<laughs> we lost a turret. <laughs> we almost bombed our own people, but other than that, we're fine. And let's get some more laborers. This is silly. We're getting nothing done without them. They could start capturing people and start building up a uh, heretical slave force that can build the base for us. That might work. Did you seriously just go in and feed the chickens, but not Eric? Poor sweet Eric. Somebody please take in some friggin' food. That's psychological warfare right there. Going in and feeding the Empress elite chickens, but leaving him to starve. <laughs> I wonder if it's because when the chickens were disabled, they couldn't see Eric, so he didn't know to go over there and deliver him food. He forgot. That does make Fog of War a little more difficult then. Okay, we've got to make sure that chicken is well fed. Oh, okay, fine. Maybe a few more laborers couldn't hurt. Because we're going to need ourselves a nice fancy senate building. Somewhere where we can undertake all of these rituals. And that ties in nicely to the idea I mentioned earlier and then forgot to finish the thought. If all of these laborers are our same ideology, then when we have a, a, a ritual or any sort of uh, ideological celebration, can they all join in? Now, normally that's not the case because when you bring an imperial recruits they're gonna be whatever ideology the empire is but this time i don't know if you're uh, remotely aware of this we are the empire that's us wow <laughs> come on how long does it take 11 people to plug in some cables well then and build many chickens hello a group of patrons from the patrons have arrived nearby hello Hello. I didn't think we were prepared for this. Actually, that's already connected. Look, look, finish those last few bits. Finish the, finish the last few cables. And then actually, we'll probably be okay. Here they come. The chickens can see them. Filthy animal. Uh, it's ironically, the only one raiding us that isn't <laughs> an animal this time. I'd argue that fighting is a type of manual labor. No, it's not a very a kind type of manual labor. Are they quite powerful already? Are we already up to that stage? Advanced bionic spines. Advanced bionic hands, compressed raiders, they've got a psychic hunger in their brain. I don't even know what that is. Little player factions giving their weird little dragon slaves bionic spines. Sextus, be careful little Sextus. Um, Flavius, my good friend Flavius, could we maybe put you behind a sandbag? That's probably not a terrible idea, huh? Maximo, I'm gonna move right in close here. Oh, yes, <laughs> exactly that, exactly that. Go, uh, move in, move in, back her up. You, uh, pain block, Maxima, keep her fighting. And then let's go for a little berserk on her, drive her mad. Maybe she'll attack her friend. Or maybe she'll draw all the fire from her enemies. This is fantastic. Okay, uh, you two do me a favor. Go attack Capable of Violence. Are you joking? Tiberius is incapable of violence. You can attack, though. They're all incapable of violence. They are effectively just big old meat shields. I mean, it's working perfectly, so I really can't complain. What's that noise? <gasps> wolf! Ice Wolf! Friggin' Ice Wolf! It would be actually a uh, a display of art history if Ice Wolf was the only one not to die, and in fact was an eternal slave of the Empire. Oh, Ice Wolf destroyed all the turrets. They're fleeing. No, Ice Wolf, come back here. We've got to we've got to catch Ice Wolf. Well, we're never gonna catch Ice Wolf because our people are so bloody slow. Um, Slush, maybe you could catch Ice Wolf. Oh, they're outside of beckon range. Come on, come on, Ice Wolf. Ice Wolf, come back here. Yes. Oh, he's done it. Okay, okay. Come on, Ice Wolf. Come on. That's it. Come on, Ice Wolf. Follow Slush. Or just stand there. Confused. Dazed. Uh, can we do anything that maybe will uh, shut you down? I'm going to use Berserk in the hopes that it confuses Ice Wolf long enough for Slush to melee attack. Yes. Come on. Bash her with your stick. Come on, Ice Wolf. Maximus, some reinforcements, please. Oh, right in the jaw. <laughs> this is so silly. There we go. There we go. Oh, this is a this is the showdown we wanted. Empire Bestower Slush Creamer versus Dragon Girl Ice Wolf. No! Emotional damage. Oh my god, look at Slush. Oh lord. <laughs> One day we'll get a new recruit for this freaking colony. One day. I've only just noticed that that lady is called Vondel, as in Jilp Vondel, as in the Emperor. It's a goddamn brother. <laughs> Her brother is the emperor, and she's here as a janitor. I mean, she likes him. Plus 20 opinion. Maybe they have some dark past. Some sort of family trauma, and he, he banished her to become a janitor in some random ships. Called in at, at, at the behest of some random bestower. That's so sad. I mean, I'm not going to tell the emperor his business. That's between them. Eric. Eric, sweet Eric. My lovely, sweet Eric. You poor fool, Eric. Eric. 
Why have you got to be a dick? <laughs> Derek, why have you, you been a dick here? Ooh, it's finished. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Let's tell Excel. Oh, it works! All of them can turn up. Yes, have a celebration. That will help with moods. That might make Slush forget the fact that he was horribly dishonored on the field of battle twice in a row. <laughs> By cat girls. <laughs> Honestly, it should have been Seppuku after the first punch. That's already embarrassing for the Emperor's elite forces. No, not now, Shuttle. We're just about to finish our party. This needs to be big. Come on. Huge. Yes! Fun. Plus five. Plus five, I'll take. Before they leave, uh, let's also have a public speech. That seems like a pretty good idea. Put your meals down. Blush has to exercise a modicum of power here while he has people to actually give a speech to. And you never know, maybe they'll go back and say nice things about him to the Emperor. That'd be quite nice. Encouraging leader speech. Very nice. Didn't do anything, but that's okay. And now, we can have our role change. Now, if I'm not mistaken, if we make someone a... A Stellic Defender, for example... Will that disable? Yeah. So if we make Flavius the Stellic Defender, the thing he's supposed to be, it disables cooking, construction, growing, mining, plant cutting, smithing, tailoring, crafting, butchering, brewing. But what I'm getting at is it's a terrible idea. That's a really terrible idea. Wait, what, what about, um, no, don't press that button. What about, um, bestow and waiting? Does that have any side effects? Um, can we find out? I mean, it's Moral Guide. We, we know what Moral Guide does. I'm like, uh, that'll have to give to Eric, because it will help out with getting other people, other little morons like Eric who think they know better. Oh, sweet Pestle's Empire, you will never get this. They want to use sappers to tunnel around my defenses. Madam, I have holes in my walls and chickens lining the outside. What exactly are you going to tunnel around? <laughs> Come on, chickens, find the bad people. They were down there. What are they doing down there? That's not the right place to be. Ah, Hemponia. Uh, is her name seriously Hemponia? Oh, from the your name's actually Hemponia. <laughs> oh, you fool. You've walked right past the Emperor's premium combat chickens. We know exactly where you are, in theory. Maybe we need some combat chickens on the inside of the wall. That's a bit of an oversight for our defenses, huh? Ah, the turrets see them. Okay, just hide here. You've, you've dug right into the... You've dug right into the slave rooms. I mean, that might be a very appropriate outcome for this. You go in there and, and hit her over the head. Flavius and Slush can deal with these ones. Maxima, kill. Slush, let's use some of those fancy side powers that I've actually been allowing you to get now. That'll come in very handy. Uh, let's throw up a little, little smoke screen here, just in case. Oh! That was the smoke screen. I thought I'd use the wrong power then for a second. <laughs> yeah, now we can shoot the enemies that are in the smoke screen. That was honestly a, uh, a strike of genius. Truly, tactics... Unparalleled. You've never seen such great remote gameplay. Oh, Lord. Well, they're fleeing. Poor Slush down again, huh? Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe it cancels itself out. <laughs> Dishonorably defeated twice. That's when you're like, okay, ceremonial suicide time. But uh, but maybe maybe the third time, maybe it undoes all the, all the bad. You're like, okay, you're a lost cause, but we'll let you off. You know, uh, just give up. It's nice that you contributed at all, actually. What the hell is that in the trees? Hello? Is that Golden Retriever? What is that supposed to be? That's definitely not a Golden Retriever. Hello? A small carnivorous synapsid, roughly the size of foxes, with diets that can... What are you? An extinct animal. They have dinosaurs in the in the Empire? Well, clearly they did, otherwise it wouldn't be there, because this is a canon Empire playthrough. A canon Empire playthrough. <laughs> and we've got the plague. Oh, don't get the plague... Maxima, don't get the plague. 84% 10 quality. Actually, she, she, she should be fine. She should be fine. I mean, you could bed rest or you could piss around gathering more medicine. That's your choice, really. Eric, join us. Come on, we need all the help we can get. My God, we've done it. Little Eric the janitor who has no face. And now he has a... Wait. <laughs> Eric, you good? Hmm, that could be quite valuable. I mean, stealth skills are always needed in the Empire. Now allow me to consult the Great Imperial Lexicon to find out what Eric should be. According to this, the first Imperial rank is Trooper. Okay, he gets to use either an assault rifle, a chain shotgun, a heavy SMG, or an LMG. He must always be equipped with a flak jacket, flak vest, flak pants, and a death acidifier. Which I don't think we can craft, but I'll see what I can do. He has a 25% chance to have a gun link, so we'll try and make that if we can. Uh, never has brawler or body purist. Okay. 
Let's have a look here. And always has a shooting skill between 4 or 10. So he's, he's got the shooting skill we need. And he doesn't have the traits that we are forbidden from having. Fantastic. Congratulations, Eric. You are now a trooper. And then if Eric impresses us, if he is a capable warrior, he could potentially be promoted to uh, Janissary, which will allow him to use recon armor, uh, all of those above weapons alongside uh, charge lance or a charge rifle as well. That'd be very valuable if Eric can get there. He needs a shooting skill between 6 or 10, though, to be promoted to a Janissary. So Eric has a lot of training to do, but luckily we do have ways to train Eric. And that is going to be our... That's going to be our little gameplay cycle this time, you know? That's going to be how we get our people together. That's going to be how we, how we run this place. Strict Imperial Regiment run by a strict Imperial Code. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. You have a lot, of, a lot of different gear that I don't normally use. It's the first time I've ever used smoke pot belts. Time for everything. And that time is 5,000 hours, by the way. I'm quite excited to try this weird little army idea. I always say weird idea. I mean, it's how the game has always worked, right? But never how, never how we've been restricted to. So I'm kind of interested to see what will happen with that. I think, and it's probably a safe assumption, we're going to get horribly murdered. Thank you all for watching. So I do at long last have, uh, well, I used them yesterday, the uh, brand new Patreon lists with, hopefully on screen right now, the brand new end card for Patreon, however I've done that, because now we have uh, upwards of, my god, 487 names. <laughs> so I have no idea how I'm going to do that, probably lots of different screens flashing, but of course you already know this, as you're seeing this video. Thank you to Silent Sensitor, Weir Baby, Falcon, Alaris, Morgan Wise. Master of Worlds 22, Super Awesome, Goku, Hobo, Billy, Joel, Chief Chair, Vash, Daltzorg, Matman, Big Daddy, Mr. Hunk, Lost Eden 42, A Box, Seabark Train, and Secret for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you all for being a part of this strange experience. Thank you as well to Ipno, Betimus Max, Epilogue, Kuakiva, Manny, Blood for the Blood God, Gaffy, Speenster, Cameron Hughes, Cheshire, Noah Dunkley, Alexi, Kexoli, Lassero, Babe Lincoln, <laughs> and Ormond O'Claire. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for visiting. And I will see you all tomorrow for what comes next. Hopefully some real proper true to the earth, assault to the earth army core organization fueled by a hundred chickens in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs>